Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's a beautiful day today. I'm just sitting in my complex outside enjoying the trees. Nothing behind me but trees. Very interesting. So, Today I wanted to talk about the fear of being a lesbian, I guess. I've been to this topic in my mind for a while because I consider myself bisexual. Yet, there's a lot that comes with that regarding lesbianism. Now, a lot of lesbians automatically think that bisexuals don't exist because they think it's just a stepping stone to becoming a lesbian. They think it's just a stepping stone to becoming like them. Which is kind of ridiculous, but in a lot of cases that is the case. Well, if that makes sense. A lot of the time, that is the case. Some people are just experimenting with their sexuality at a certain time and point. Some people are not. Now, the reason why I say there's a fear, the reason why I, said, why I mentioned, oh shit, there's ants over here. Oh, no, 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 no. I knew I'd see something if I just sat there long enough. Anyway, the reason why I wanted to talk about this is because. I wonder if bisexuals ever have a fear of just becoming gay as a whole. <laughs> like, do you ever fear that what people say are right? Do you ever fear that once you have sex with the same sex, that you're going to turn into, you know, you're going to turn lesbian or gay? Just period, because your mind's been opened and you've experienced it. Do you ever fear that? Like, is that is that a legit thing, you know? I'm just being kind of curious. <sighs> now, some people arrogantly tell me, Oh, yeah, once you have this, you're never going to want to turn back. And that's just how it is for both people. That's just how it is, period. <laughs> On the flip side, I've heard other people who are bi, and they've said... No, they haven't turned back. They still equally like both, or they still like men more than women, or women more than men. Everybody has a percentage, everybody has a preference. However, they don't stop liking the other gender. They don't stop liking whoever they originally were. Some people say that's true, and some people say it isn't. To me, I think it depends on the person. There is no generalized viewpoint that says, once you go gay, you never go astray, or something like that. <laughs> Once you go gay, you never ever stray. What? <laughs> I don't know, I just don't think that's totally true. And like I said, I really wonder if people genuinely fear that it could be true. And because of that fear, they don't act on it. They don't act on their desires. Now, I'm not saying that everyone should act on their desires. I'm not even saying that. That fear is actually a legitimate fear because especially if you're in a long-term committed relationship like I am, it I'm sure if the fear is there for you, it's a legitimate fear because like I said, people tell you anything and the fear of you not being attracted to your spouse anymore, yeah, that's that's a heavy one. I completely understand why you do if that's your reasoning. Um, yeah, it, it makes sense, you know, with anything new that you do, there's always going to be fear. Now, especially something of this nature, because sexuality, it can be fluid, but at the same time, it can kind of, it can change you. I know it can change you in ways you never thought it would change you. Some people, they go that way, and they don't come back. <laughs> they never, ever come back to the other side. 
Some people do, and some people don't. It just depends. Depends on you, your preferences, and what's going on with you at the moment. Um, all that. You know, it just heavily depends. <clears throat> it's not just a one set thing for everyone. So, yeah. Like I said, I was just curious on what you guys' viewpoints are on that. Regarding that, you guys have these types of issues. Have you ever thought about this? Do you know somebody who's, who's been through this? Um, what do you personally think? I'm sure I'm going to get most people saying that, um, yeah, it's true. Most bisexuals, um, they end up with the same sex and they don't go back. So I'm saying, no, I've been with the same sex, but it still didn't make me, it still didn't make me go fully the, the other way, you know? Me, personally, I don't think I'm going to fully go the other way. However, I have still slightly, slightly had that fear. But that's only because of what people say. You know, sometimes you can't listen to people. Sometimes you can't listen to what people are trying to brainwash you with. They're just telling you their own personal biased thoughts. But that might not be the case for you. They're just telling you what they think. You know? But you don't always have to listen to that. You know yourself and you know your body. And you know what you like versus don't like. So, just keep that in consideration. And don't always take people's words to heart because sexuality is just a mess these days. People think they know everything regarding sexuality. People think they know um, who's going to like what and what's going to happen to said person. Mm -mm. You can't tell another person what they're going to like. You can't tell another person how they're going to be if they, once they experience something. You can't do that. You just can't. You know, you don't know that person. You're not in their body. Bruh, shut the hell up. That's just not right. <laughs> I'm sure you wouldn't want anybody telling you what and who you're going to be attracted to once you experience something. I mean, hey, it is what it is, so. <sighs> but, yeah. I just wanted to talk about that. Um, as I said before, let me know your experiences. Comment down below. Make sure you comment. Make sure you like this video. I hope you guys are getting some sunshine. I hope you guys are walking and exercising and getting out. Despite these quarantine orders, I hope you guys are also relaxing and taking care of yourselves. And yeah, get out and get some exercise. We all need it. Despite what's going on, you know. <laughs> they tell you not to go outside, but you can still kind of walk around. You know, you can't fight any so-called virus without exercise. Just know that for a fact. If you don't take care of your damn self, then yeah, you're more susceptible to the virus. So to speak. So yeah, anyway, you guys take care of yourselves and comment below this video your thoughts and opinions and blah blah blah. Like, comment, and share. I have plenty more coming. And uh, yeah, that's all for now. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.